Hi, and welcome to Cut the Kibble. I'm Paula, and this is Miss Bella, my soon-to-be 11-year, I'm sorry, 12-year-old Bijan in two weeks. And today I'm going to be making a salmon recipe. For those of you who are new to my channel, I feel it's important to rotate your proteins. So throughout the week, she gets different proteins. And that means that I cook less because if I cook 10 salmons, she's only gonna get one a week. So after you get the hang of things, you're cooking less. And other tricks, I went ahead and I put the salmon in the oven and while it was in the oven, I vacuumed for 15 minutes. And I already had my vegetables and everything on my counter defrosting. So once you get the hang of things, cooking for your dog is not a task for you to do. It, it just, it goes really quickly. If I wasn't doing a video from start to finish, it would be 35 minutes with cleaning up. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, salmon I know is expensive and you do the best that you can do. Um, if you wanna do canned salmon, that's fine. Get it with the bones in, cause you're gonna put that through a food processor and the bones are good you know, for calcium. If you're gonna get fresh salmon, if you can afford it, get wild caught from a good source, good clean waters as in um, Iceland or, or Canada. They're saying that farm fresh is not good because it has um, a lot of antibiotics in it. I don't know, the farm fresh I'm getting at Costco is a stamp right on it and it says um, no antibiotics added. So I don't know who to believe. But today, what I'm doing is a frozen salmon that I got at Costco. It's um, wild silver coho salmon. All right, oops, you can't see that. And <laughs> I made a mistake. I just put this whole thing in the refrigerator overnight. I didn't read the instructions. You were supposed to take it out of the plastic and put it in the refrigerator. But um, I wanted to get this cooking over with and I just took the ice off and. I put it at 375 for 15 minutes in the oven and it's cooked. You could probably even have gone 10 minutes. Um, so let me show you how I make the salmon recipe. So in my food processor, I have almost two pounds of salmon. I just broke it uh, with a fork. I have not even mixed it yet with the food processor. I'm a big fan of using a food processor because I'm gonna go ahead and add a few supplements and I want everything to get mixed uh, around, all the vegetables and, and supplements. Um, you really can't do that if you don't use a food processor. Now, if you're gonna home cook and you're new to my channel, you have to use a calcium in your food. Um, I've been using this one now for 11 years, Animal Essentials, the directions are right on the back. By the way, this is from, um, what is it from? New Zealand, I believe. Um, uh, I can't read it, but I'm pretty sure. Iceland, I'm sorry, Iceland. It, directions are on the back. You do one teaspoon per pound of protein. I just count the actual, quote, meat as the protein. So this was not quite two pounds, so I'm not gonna put not quite two teaspoons in. Oops, I just got some on the... Okay, this is the one thing that I do measure Try to measure as much as I can. All right, I'm not gonna put that whole thing in. So, why do I use salmon? Salmon is excellent uh, for brain health and for skin coat and for, for joint health. Um, it's a, a fatty fish filled with omega-3s and dogs need omega-3s. And to balance that off, I have my Cut the Kibble Omega Booster, which is Omega-6s of pumpkin seeds. Um, what else is in here? Hemp hearts and, uh, oh goodness, what's the other one? I always forget sometimes the other one. Um, when it comes to mayo, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, so I put that in and now I have to open my refrigerator. One second, please. Um, I always add blueberries to her recipes. If you can get the wild blueberries, 
they have more antioxidants. These are not wild. You know, you do the best you can, and especially now where it's hard to find um, things in the grocery store because shipping is, it's hard to, you know, get stuff to the grocery store. And I do some beef heart because dogs need that for the taurine. That's how they keep a healthy heart. And the beef liver. Beef liver has nutrients in it that are not in any other foods. So the beef liver should only be at 5%. You don't want to use a lot of beef liver because um, your dog can get pancreatitis. And the, the beef heart is at 10%. And then I'm going to add my, my vegetables. Now, if you're new to my channel, I only do, um, I forgot, I was going to give her a little bit. Let me give her some that doesn't have any stuff on it. You want to have some, baby? Yeah, that good girl. Yummy. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm, I only do one high starchy vegetable. And the reason is that vegetables like peas and, and carrots and potatoes and rice, they have high sugars. And that's what's happening. Everybody who's having giving their dogs kibble, if you read the ingredients, all those ingredients are, are what is on the ingredients list. And your dogs can get obese from that and they can have, get start getting arthritis from that. You only wanna have one high starchy vegetable. And I don't use any of those. I'll either use a pumpkin, or in this case, I'm using butternut squash. This is butternut squash that I bought um, fresh, it was cubed, saved me some time. And then I roasted it and froze it and I'm using broccoli and I'm using string beans. I don't, this is, I haven't used string beans at all. This is my second time now because I just had some fresh and I don't really care for them. So I'm gonna give it to Bella. <clears throat> so that's, that's it. Now when I say that's it, you have um, other supplements that you need to give to your dog, but you don't put those in now because um, they should be done at feeding. Bella's a senior dog, so she gets a probiotic. She also gets a senior supplement from Animal Essentials for her brain health, because my other dog had dementia. And then I also have started giving her, hold on, let me get the bag out so I could show you this. Uh, this is from Gastro Elm, and it's going to help um, for joint health, which she, she needs because she's a senior. And then there's other supplements that I give her based on what she needs. You can look at my supplements list um, on the playlist of YouTube. So basically, that's it. I'm done. I'm just going to mix this up. I'm gonna to have to help it around with a spatula, but hang in there and then I'll show you um, what I, how I store it. So hold on. So I'm on to my last patty. I measure it out, uh, you can't see, it's on a scale, 4.0 because she gets a half a cup twice a day of food. And I just put it on here and I calculated this out and salmon is the most um, expensive protein that I give her, and um, here she comes. Let me pick her up real quick. And you can't get salmon on sale. So for this recipe, for around two pounds of salmon, it comes out to $2. Uh, actually, let's say that $2 is for the salmon. It comes out to like $3 a meal. Now, granted, I'm getting 10 meals out of this. She only gets it once a week. So that's like uh, two, almost two and a half months. And I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and flash freeze this and once it's frozen, I'll put it in our freezer bag. I would not keep anything in your freezer more than three months, that's just the way I am. I do like to cook ahead in case, you know, I'm sick or I'm having company or something like that. So it's good to have freezer space. Now she's only a 14 pound dog. I have, I think it's like a nine or 12 cubic uh, foot freezer downstairs. But if you have a big dog, you're gonna need to have a big freezer. What do you hear out there, Miss Bella? 
So that's it. Anyone's going to flash freeze it and I'm done for the day. Let me know if you have any questions.